Hey there and welcome to another Spigot coding tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to work with configuration files. So, well, first we want to actually have our config file. So we will right click our src folder, new file config.yml and yeah, that's our config file. And we want to have a new method, private void load config in our main class. We will just get the config.options.copy defaults true and save the config. So what this means is that if we have something preset here, so if we already have something like users and then permissions and then like skiffd.reg or something like that, if we already have that preset, then it's going to load this and save the config so that anytime you load the plugin and the config is created, these things are already in there. Okay, so we will also call the method once our plugin is enabled and we will just don't have anything preset here. Okay, so if we want to actually set things in the config, we first need to have a reference to our plugin. So we will say private plugin, the bucket plugin, plugin equals um, main.get plugin in the class. So what this means is that we have a plugin that we call plugin and we just call the get plugin method and our plugin reference is the main class. All right. So um, let's say we want to get the coordinates every time a TNT gets placed. So we don't want to prevent it uh, from being placed, but we want to get the coordinates and the world that it's getting placed in. So uh, first we want to have uh, plugin.getconfig.set. So here we put in our path and here we put in what uh, the value of this path should be. So if we have blocks.tnt here and we set this to I don't know, ABC, then our config would look something like this. So it's blocks tnt and we set this to ABC because it's blocks.tnt and we set this value to ABC. Uh, all right, but we don't want to set it to ABC. Let's say we don't want uh, we want to set the value blocks the tnt dot x so blocks tnt dot x to uh, the x coordinate of the block that was placed. Uh, let's just remove this again and we are going to have this three times and then we will save the config. So here we want to set the y coordinate and here the set. So set and y. And if we were to build this and then reload our server Then you can see that we have a config file right here that actually doesn't belong in here because I did some testing earlier. Uh, and if we place down a block, then you can see that we have, oh, I still have the copy defaults. Yeah, that was my bad. This is actually counted as a default. That's totally my bad, but I will have to delete this. Uh, actually, let me just delete this real quick. So it was blocks x y z. Yeah, okay. Um, whoops.
That was my bad. Let me just set this to my real quick. Reload. And now we should see that. Yep, perfect. Okay, we can remove that now. Alright. So now we can see that the coordinates of the block that we placed are actually in the config file. But the problem is anytime we place a new block, it's going to be overwritten. And we don't want to have that. So let's just put in a private int count over here. And well, let's set the first value to zero. And now we do, uh, we do, we add the count to the path. So uh, let me just do this for everything real quick. Plus count plus dot y plus count whoops plus dot z. Okay. So what this means is let's say our count was one then this path right here if our count is one would be blocks dot tnt dot one dot x and we would set that to the x coordinate of the block and of course we also want to say count plus plus which is the same thing as writing count equals count plus one. So we increase the count by one. Okay. Let's just export this real quick. And reload our server. And if we were to place one plus three TNT down, changing on the set coordinate, then we should see that we still need to delete this, but anyway, and you can see that we have TNT. We set TNT zero to this, TNT one to that, TNT two to that, uh, to that, and you can see they all change on the set coordinate. All right, let's also put in the world that we place the TNT in. So we say. Um, and also the block type. So let's say plugin get config dot set blocks dot tnt plus sorry, don't forget the dots here. Count plus dot world. And we will set this to be dot world. And over here we say plugin get config set blocks dot tnt dot plus count plus uh, dot let's say uh, let's just call it type and we set this to be the get type so the type of block that it is just because it's annoying me let's put that away And let's reload the server. And once again, if we place down our TNT. Okay, so we have we have actually every single thing of the world that we don't want to have. But I guess it works. Um, I don't think we can go for, nope, looking bad, okay. What if we just do this? I think that should work. Oh, of course we need to reload. And then, yep, world is world. Perfect. All right. Of course, you have the material here. That's legacy TNT. We can also think we can say 
get to the string to kind of fix this problem. So I'm not quite sure if this works. Let's test it. Doesn't look very good, but it works. Okay. So we have our world, we have the block type, which is TNT, obviously. And if we were to remove this over here, so, so that it actually counts for every, uh, every single block that is placed. And we were to do that again, I think it work. Um, and if we place diamond block here, sand block here, TNT here and a rail here, and we look at our config, you can see we have our diamond block that we have placed, our sand block, our TNT and our rails. Okay, and uh, if you now want to get um, get a value from the config. So let's say every time we place down the block, we also want to um, get the type that we place. So we have a string because that's the, yeah, because our block type isn't a number or like a flow that, yeah. Um, so we do plugin dot get config not not get name get config thanks get string because we know it's a string and then we have our path path so blocks dot tnt dot plus count plus dot type and then we want to have bucket broadcast message type. What are you complaining about? Might be now. It could be if this path doesn't exist, it's now. But in this case, we know it exists because we created it before. Okay. Let's reload. And if we place down any block, you can see that the type is displayed in the uh, chat. This of course works for any block, so that's wood, that's a log, and that's bedrock. It also works for a cactus and probably for dead brushes as well. Yeah, that actually counts as long grass. Alright, so that's about it for configuration files. If you have any questions about the code or about your own code, just ask down below in the comments or hop into my discord server and just dm me you can find the link to my discord server in the description below and i hope you have a wonderful day see you in the next video bye